Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, vlog? Terrible accident on our moped. Me and Ari in the hospital right now. What up, y'all? Today is our four year anniversary. I know y'all been seeing them videos from us in the hospital. That was actually on our one year anniversary. And three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. So we thought we'd give y'all story time since everybody really wants to know what happened in that situation. Some what better day to do it than the our anniversary. anniversary? We in the house. Yes, yeah. we're in the house on our four year anniversary. <laughs> it's raining outside, it's gloomy. And it's stack season. And it's stack season. We in the crib until we rich. You know our love for each other has no boundaries. Amen. <laughs> Where 20 what year? It was 2020. You know that flights was cheap. We said Key West. 2020, man. COVID was going on. <laughs> so we decided to go to Key West, Florida. You know, got a little hundred fifty dollar flight. That round trip round was cheap, trip. boy. This was the best trip of my life personally. Like, and it wasn't even like extravagant or anything, but it was just a genuinely good trip. Like, not one thing went wrong on this entire trip. I mean. The weather was beautiful. We did like some excursions and stuff. It was just us. We were celebrating, you know, a year of being together and that was like a big deal for us. And so we get to Key West, we catch a flight. First we had to take one flight, then we gotta get on another flight, boom. But yeah, then we land in Key West, everything new. We just see all the chickens on the ground. We like, oh snap, why is the chickens running around? <laughs> it was just such a vibe. It was, it was so new. We were so new to so traveling, so new to everything. So. We book our, we get into our Airbnb, everything cool. We enjoyed probably about like four days just of fun. Straight fun. We went snorkeling. Yep. We went, um, what else we do? We dolphin did. seeing, part of the snorkeling we ain't trip. Ain't no dolphins. Ain't see no dolphins. Yeah. We was riding around on a moped. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and then, um, it was just and fun. we was, both of us was under 21. We had to ask random people to buy us oh liquor out the store. God. We literally went up to these random guys on a balcony. And we're like, if we give y'all like 50 bucks, can y'all go get us a fifth of Patron? And they were like, yeah, like they could have scammed us, but they really did it. So. Yeah. Come to the last day. Was it the last? Yeah, yeah the last, last day, day we were supposed to be there. We ended up extending our flight to stay three more days because we was having so much fun and the vibe was so good. We was loving each other. We was getting along so well the whole time we was there. Literally the perfect trip. I had my GoPro. <laughs> we was vlogging. I had my... Fresh new Balenciagas I bought for a thousand. I was feeling myself. Man. Hey, um, the night we extend our trip, we check into our new hotel, so we can the one that we about to stay in for the rest of the time that we extended our trip. And um, and mind y'all, we we've been drinking we've every been drunk day, every so night. So we were like, tonight, let's let's just vibe. Let's go get some pizza. Let's come back. We had did a little mini YouTube video, like we were trying to do YouTube back then and stuff. And uh, we're like, we'll edit the video, you know, we'll just be in the hotel for tonight. We got a couple more days. We'll go back out and have fun tomorrow. We decide to not drink nothing. We go to Domino's, was it? Yeah, Domino's. We went to Domino's, right? This is where things get like, things is about to start picking up for y'all. But we go to the Domino's, we order our food. I go, we go back outside in the parking lot and I'm like, man, I'm gonna, let's go do something. Let's drive around. So she, was too scared to drive the moped the whole entire time. Y'all, I could not touch the ground. Like, my feet didn't touch the ground. And that thing was heavy. Like, I had no control over it. Then I said, you don't remember driving it? No, I don't remember driving it. She don't remember driving it. So that should tell y'all something. I remember her driving it, but she don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. It. I don't remember ever leaving the pizza place. Nothing. Like, that's where it goes black for me. So, I get on the moped. I'm like... We might as well, we waiting on this pizza, we might as well take a ride. We leave Domino's, I bust a right, we just riding, we riding, we riding. Finally, I get to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna turn around, go get the pizza. Boom, I'm driving. The only thing I remember after, I don't even know where I was, I know I was on my way back to the pizza place and I was real close. But I see bright lights in the rear, rear view mirror of the moped. And boom, that was it. And then everything was a blur after that. Not even a blur, everything was nothing, nothing. after that. No memory. So we ended up getting hit. Yeah, we ended up getting rear-ended by an F-150. A big boy. And ran over like he was on top of us and the moped. Mm -hmm. And dragged us. 
if you can't tell, our face is all, my face all healed up, she all healed. Okay. So, you know, do she all healed up. And God is good, man. Y'all so keep good. God in y'all life. And Let me tell y'all how, when we woke up in the hospital, like, they literally were telling us, like, y'all have guardian angels. Like, you guys should not be alive right now. We didn't have helmets on. Rob had, like, shorts and a wife beater on and some tennis shoes. I luckily had leggings on, but, I mean, like, it tore straight through. Like, we were, we were all types of messed up. I had a whole hole in my knee. I had a hole in my back. My pelvic bone had uh, cracked in half. Broke. Yeah, broken half. Um, my hip got pushed in. So I couldn't walk for about a month. Like, I had to basically, like, relearn how to walk, pretty much. I was in a wheelchair and everything. It was... It was crazy. Like we were, we were really messed up. And not to even mention, after we got hit, they told us that we had to get airlifted by a helicopter. Oh yeah, we woke up in Miami. We we went. For, we was in Key West. Woke up in Miami about three hours away. They said we was like on the verge of dying. I was having seizures. 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 <laughs> and um, <laughs> when I woke up in the hospital, it was just like. It didn't feel real. I felt like a dream kind of because I'm like, what happened, bro? Like, I was really lost. It's kind of sad to think about, like, your life can flash just like that. And you won't even know. Yeah, we didn't even know. Like, I had no idea. Like I told y'all before, I don't even remember. Like, I remember sitting down, paying for the pizza, sitting down, and that was it. Next thing you know, I wake up, I'm in Miami. I'm, like, super high off drugs. I'm in this bed, and I'm not moving my legs or nothing. And this nurse walks in. It, oh my god bless his soul he was just the sweetest little thing ever so my phone was in rob's pocket so they wouldn't give it to me because it was technically his property when we got hit and everything it was in his pocket so he like had to sneak me my phone so that i could call my mom and like let her know what was going on and everything and the first thing he said to me when i woke up he was like you've been in an accident and i started crying and i said oh no i said did we hurt somebody and he said no honey he said they hurt you and i said are they okay and he said, yeah, they're fine. He said, don't worry about them, da, 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 da. And then I said, is my boyfriend okay? And he basically wouldn't tell me nothing about Rob. He's like, "We're yeah, yeah, like he was beating around the bush. So I start kind of freaking out and I'm like scared because I'm like, I don't know if he's okay. You know what I'm saying? I just woke up in the hospital. And like technically because we aren't married, they couldn't really tell me any of his, like his status or anything. Well, the guy ends up telling me, like, he's okay, you know, like, he told me, like, he was seizing and stuff, and he was saying, like, he was fighting it, and, like, when he woke up, he had, like, a tube in his mouth, in his throat and everything, and, like, he was just... Oh, my gosh, I had yeah. a fat tube in my throat. When I woke up, I'm sitting there in the bed, like, <laughs> clang up, breathe, one, two, three, that boy shit, oh. Oh. all the way out, I'm home. Mm -hmm. But they even put a tube in the tip of my... Yeah, ding a catheter. Oh, that's what that is? <laughs> yeah, so that you could pee. Bro, if y'all never had a catheter, that is the worst thing to ever get put inside of you, bro. I had to pee for like four days straight. My pee was burning. Like, me and her, when I found out like her room number and stuff, we used to just sit there on the phone and talk to each other. Because it was, about to it was start. COVID. Yeah. So, you know, they were not playing none of that visitors, no going in each other's rooms, none of that. Eventually, they let him come and see me. Man, it was like so sad in the moment. It was like, so sad. We didn't talk about it so many times to where it's like not that sad anymore, for real. But it's like sad. We was on the phone, like damn near crying to each other when we was yeah. talking to each other, just happy to be alive. And when I finally got able to walk to a room, cause keep in mind I could barely walk. I was getting up it like was this. Tore up. I walked to her room like this. Yeah. Like an old man. Yeah, it dress was on. so heartbreaking. Like. Not only were emotions already really high due to the situation and everything, and, like, especially, like, if you ever go through something like that, it's so traumatic because you don't even, like, the idea of not remembering something that happened to you is so crazy. Like, just not knowing is such a weird feeling. Right. Like, how do, we, how do we just not remember? You know, it's, it's just a weird feeling that that can happen to you. So emotions were already very high, and then seeing him walk in, like, I didn't know how bad he looked. Like, I didn't know all the scrapes and stuff that he had. And you know how bad he was walking and everything just as he didn't know how I looked or anything So like when he came through those doors, I literally just started crying like it was just it was a very heartbreaking moment for me It definitely made us bond closer and it helped us like Just realize that we can lose it all at any yeah. moment given you know You just never know what happened what can happen to you and it's like mm -hmm. We were just blessed enough to 
make it out of that situation. And we thought we would just share this story with y'all. I don't know if we mentioned the guy who hit us was drunk. The guy so. who hit us was drunk. And we ain't even get no money for real, bro. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> something like that, you would expect to at least get at least 150000 mm -hmm. At least. It was crazy, man. It was It's for real crazy, though. Like, I just want to take a bite out of her knee right now. Crazy. <laughs> so, not worth it. But we had the choice to put the guy in jail or, or basically let him off with... Um, he had to go to this class or something. So, we chose to do that because... Although, you know, what he did was life-changing for us, we're forgiving people, and, you know, we believe everybody can change, and it, it doesn't do nothing for us for that man's life to be ruined right. either. You know, it doesn't make us sleep better at night, so. Yeah, we just thought we'd share that with y'all. Everybody been wanting to know, and I hope this gives y'all clarity. If this is your first time on the channel, please leave us a like, and if you're feeling generous, subscribe. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, we love you. I mean, we love you. Come on, man. What? Anyway, y'all, it's our four-year anniversary, so we about to go turn up. We about to go play some board games, drink a little wine, chill out with our little doggos. And you know the vibes. We ain't, cheers to we another inside, year. Not outside. Cheers to another year of love and no more accidents, no more tears of love and joy with passion and gear. I was yep. driving the moped and driving the gear. I'm so scared for these wedding vows one day, okay? Um, this is probably going to be the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for all the prayers you've been sending me and her through Instagram, Snapchat, calling us, and we really appreciate it. If you are new to this channel, like, subscribe, and we will give you guys a story time on what happened. Bye. I fell for you. I ain't even gonna lie. You knew what I was on when you looked me in my eye. And you ain't saying nothing. You just kept on walking by. So I just had to stop you and say hi. What's up?